What's up, guys? Back again. Hey, you know what time it is. It is time to unveil the SMC episodes that aired on Discovery Channel. You know, they played on the Discovery Channel from January through July, and now it is time to release them straight to you guys on YouTube. First episode is myself and my good buddy Gary Milosevic down on Lake Okeechobee throwing frogs, catching some donks. I mean some giants, guys. Speaking of donks, check out the new donk shirt that I just had made. Donk, donk, donk. You know the feeling. You know what I'm talking about, guys. So check out the merch link in the link down below. Get part of Team SMC hats, t-shirts, all kind of cool stuff. And in the meantime, enjoy the episode. A little donk action. Okeechobee style. Boy, I tell you what, it's not too often you get a chance to catch a true mega bag on top water. But that's what we're doing today. Right there, little frog, what do you think? That'll work. That's, that will work. That is the color. Gary, right Gary's been wrecking some mega fish out here on the Lake Okeechobee. Top water action is going to be crazy. That, and also, hey, I brought this little, you said the live target bluegill. And you've got the bigger version. I throw the bigger one. And I've got the small one. We'll see what happens. But I tell you what, man, it's been years since we've been able to fish together. A long time. But I tell you what, we're going to do some damage today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Top water frogs, Okeechobee style. All I know is I'm ready to go fishing, dude. I'm ready Mega to go bag too. alert. Mega bag alert. I'll dump you in, dude. All right. You ready? Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Looks juicy. Man, I can't wait to hear them cannonballs go off. Kaboom! We're hit. Kaboom! Oh. Look at all this eelgrass in here. Beautiful, beautiful spawning area right here. The thing about Okeechobee, guys, is number one, there's giant bass in here. Number two, they're shallow year round. So it's like the best top water, swim bait, swim jig, lake of all time. I, I mean, people ask me all the time, what's my favorite lake? Okeechobee. Oh, Okeechobee. We're gonna show you why. I don't want to cast without Scott casting first. Could that be shame me put one in before he does? If one bites on first cast, you gotta shake them off. That's what Dad says. Can't catch one first cast. Big flat right out here. A lot of eelgrass, a lot of reeds scattered out, and uh, pretty shallow. You know, here on Okeechobee, you want to look for places that look like this. Got a lot of scattered cattails. It's got hydrilla mixed in. Got some eelgrass mixed in, and hard sand bottom. Here's the key, guys. That's hard bottom right there. Okay, it's about three and a half foot deep, but hard bottom, and that's the key find a good spot on Lake Okeechobee is finding areas that's got good hard bottom because the fish spawn on the hard bottom. When we stop in the first spot, I'll tell you what, this is beautiful. The water's clear, it's got mixed hydrilla, hard sand bottom, and we're already seeing some activity kind of flopping around back in there. Get ready, Gary, something big is gonna bite. There he is, it's a big one, dude. It's a giant. Oh my God. Oh, he pulled oh. off. It was a freaking, that was eight to 10, easy. <laughs> oh, and you said she was gonna be there too, and you still missed her. Oh, dude, did you did you see that? A freaking eight pounder or nine? Oh, here's one chasing bait. I would catch one. Power pull down. Yeah, let's power pull down right here, dude. <laughs> that was a good one, a real good one. And you called it too. I know. I saw the fry jump out of the water. God. Dude, I couldn't stop it. I might need to change rods. Dude, how did I miss that fish? I had it hooked, man. It just jumped out of the water and got off. Oh my gosh. You know what's really neat about Okeechobee, you know, people come down here all the time and they bring their boats and, and they go fishing. And you know, you look around, there's there's like five boats in this area right here. And and what's unique about Okeechobee different than a lot of places, like if you go to like Kentucky Lake, for example, where I, I've, I've been before, you know, you pull up on a good spot and the one good spot is right there. And then there's no other fish anywhere around. But here it's like, there's five or six boats. Those dudes over there are catching them. That guy over there is catching them. That guy over there is catching them. They're everywhere. And so it's not like, you know, you're getting all boxed in. You know, you go down this little stretch here, you catch a few, you go over there, catch a few. They're, they're like everywhere. So there's not like one spot, it's an area. You get in an area like this, and you just put your head down and fish. Big things will happen. It's one of the only lakes that I literally, every cast you make, you feel like, oh, dude, this is it. Get ready, get ready. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> and then when they do hit it is when you're not paying attention. Yeah. You relax for just one minute. <laughs> or you look at something, you hear splash to your right, then you look back and there's a big hole in the water and your frog's gone. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. It hit the water, dude, and you got it. It's a good one, too. On the bluegill. On the little live target bluegill. It hit the water and he grabbed it, dude. It's a good one. That is a good one. She's still running with it. Oh, good. That's a seven pounder at least. Uh, look at that, dude. I'm not lifting it. I'm not getting hooks in my fingers. Oh, my gosh. Look at that bass. Look at that, dude. On the live target, too, dude. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is a good one. It hit the water right by those cattails. I found my new favorite little toy. Wow. Look at that bass, guys. Look at that. I gotta catch up with you. Hey, Gary, get, get, get to work, man. Let's stick her in the box. Oh, man. It hit the water, she went. Oof. Got it. What we're going to be fishing with today, pretty much exclusively, is this little dude right here, little live target bluegill. It's a little crankbait, but we're fishing a little different. I'm, I'm letting it float. It floats a real high floater. Got it on P-Line X-Braid, and I'm basically letting it float, and I'm just twitching it, and letting it float back to the top, twitching it, and letting it float back to the top. That's number one. And the other one, which I'm throwing a dark colored frog, is my frog. This is my live target popping frog that I designed for live target. That's the other thing that we're going to be fishing with today and um, good stuff. I mean, this, this time of the year, when these fish are up shallow like this, up here spawning, that's what you want. Those big fish react to surface baits. You can pick up, like Gary said, you can pick up a worm, a cinco, you can get a lot of bites. But if you want to catch big ones, this frog right here is the way to go. Might not get as, as many bites, but those big ones like it for sure. So that's the plan. That's the mega bag alert right there. Good fish? I can't tell. No. Little one. Felt big in that grass. I know. It? Well, little ones will eat it too. I like it. Looking for your mama. Alright. That one just came up just barely. I mean like just I had to wait a minute. I was, like it didn't even have it. But it just sucked it down. Today is really going to be an example of just sticking with a top water like a frog and let's see what happens. You know, people ask me all the time, what's my favorite lake to fish? And I always have to say Lake Okeechobee because year round, it's a fantastic fishery. And when you talk about tournament weights and big fish, there's nothing that beats this lake. I mean, right now they're catching what, 30 pound bags, 35 pound bags? God, it's, it's unreal right now. You go fish a tournament, I come in with 27 pounds, think I'm going to win it. And I'm not even in the top 10. If, right now, if you don't have 30 pounds plus, you're not, it, you're not winning it. It's crazy right that now. That is so crazy. Oh my God, there's an eight pounder, dude. Eight or nine pounder, Holy 10 pounder. Man. On a bed right there right with that bed. I thought I seen her down there when I pulled her. Oh, look up. at her right there. She's right there. She's underneath the pads right there. It's a 10 pounder. Oh my gosh, dude, it's a 10 pounder. We got a power pull down and catch that fish. She's paired up. Wow. Did you see that, guys? I don't know if you saw it or not. Ten, nine or ten pounds on that bed right there. You know, Lake Okeechobee is a big lake, and there's lots of places to fish. But let me tell you something. When you find a place that looks like this, clear water, hard sand bottom, scattered hydrilla, eelgrass, and reeds, hang on. That is where you want to fish. Because let me tell you something. These fish spawn so long down here that they're always in those spawning areas. So when you find a spot like this, that's the right spot to fish. The best way to throw these frogs, guys, is on braid. You know, you, you, you don't want to throw fluorocarbon. You definitely don't want to throw regular monofilament. I'm throwing, again, P-Line X-Braid. This is 50-pound X-Braid. Uh, you could go to 65, depending on where you're fishing. But here, you got enough open water that 50 is good. If you're fishing a lake like Gunnersville, that's just a mat of grass the entire, like, cast, sometimes 65 is a little better. Or I might even go to a longer rod. This is a 7.3 frog swim bait rod right here. 
So this one's perfect for what we're doing because we're trying to just give that bait a little action, a little pop, and trying to keep it in the strike zone. As you can see, guys, the weather is pretty bad right now. We're dealing with some storms. I'm hoping that we can kind of dodge a lot of them today, but all day today we're going to have to have one eye peeking out for those storms because you don't want to get out here in Lake Okeechobee and get stuck in a lightning storm. It's dangerous. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey. Nice. Little two and a half pounder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're starting to, I think what's happening is these fish are moving up on the beds because we just saw that big one and three more, you know, fish that size. Come out of this rain suit. Man, we have got rain all around us, dude. Oh, a giant. There's a giant. There's one of them mega ones. Look at it run. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, power pull down? One. Yeah, power pull down. She's coming right in front of the boat. Look at her run. Oh, my gosh, dude. She's a giant. She's a giant. She's going to jump right here. Ooh, big one. Big one. Man, she's strong. Oh, yeah. Good job, dude. Yeah, we got our hands on that one. Dude. About that. How about that? Just when you thought. The frog bite is back on. Dude, that thing was a giant, bro. Awesome oh, job, man. It's a good thing about catching big fish. You put your whole hand <laughs> in their down mouth. their throat. Dude. That's what I'm talking about. Three more mega bag. Mega bag. Three, Three more. more. We'll Three catch more. Them. Three more. Come on. Rain, hold up right there. Just hold up right there, Rain. We need three more of these for a show. What do you think, guys? Think we can do it? I think we can. I think we can. I don't know. I don't know. They're close. They're about the same, aren't they? But that one back there, the one back there, had a, one of them dog collars around with spikes sticking off of it. And it said, <laughs> come get me. That thing was mean looking. I remember one of the first times I ever threw a frog. Gary and I had fished this big championship tournament here on the lake, and we qualified for this, <laughs> oh, this big tournament in Tennessee on Old Hickory. Yep. And uh, we're fishing this big mat of grass. And, and we'd caught some fish in there in practice. And for whatever reason, we weren't getting bit on worms and spinner baits and everything else for throwing. And we looked around the floor of the boat, and there was a frog laying there on the floor of the boat. And we hadn't thrown a frog all week. And I picked the frog up and I tied it on, I had it on monofilament, didn't even have it on braid. Tied the frog out and I went, I don't know. Gary said, well, just throw it. They ain't biting nothing else. I threw it out there about like that. I said, okay, and I twisted it one time, about a six and a half pounder just engulfed it. And boom, catch, catch that one. A little while later, boom, catch that one. Then we started taking turns with the frog. What did we end up finishing? Fifth in that tournament? Fifth. Fifth, got second big fish each day, won 10 grand. That was the first time that I'd ever traveled out of the state of Florida for a bass tournament. You know that? That was the first time. Was it? That was the first time. Huh. Very that first was a time. Long time ago. It was, man. That was that was neat. You know, it, it kind of all gone full circle now. Now, 20 something years later, we're fishing in the same boat, fishing frogs again. <laughs> good. <laughs> good stuff. You know, I'm noticing something. You know, it, it, the storm just went through. The wind was blowing really hard, and I don't see the activity that I was seeing earlier, but the little bit that I am seeing, it's, it's regards to bait. I'm seeing bait and fish jump out of the water, I'm seeing fish chase them. I, I might switch over to a white, like a white frog, and show them something a little different. Who's a big one? Oh, that's a giant, dude. Want me to go to it? Yeah, yeah, it's a monster, bro. <laughs> He's stuck in this grass. I see it. Oh, oh, God. Let me get him, let me get him. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How about that? The mega bag is going. Look at that? the frog she ate. She inhaled it. 
Scott, that was a good call. That's another mega fish right there on a white frog. If you catch one more on it, I'm changing over to white. I'm pulling in the lake. Well, I set the hook on that fish. I mean, literally, I stutter stepped forward. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if it was seven pounds or 12 pounds. <laughs> it was a good one. The white one on, we've been throwing the dark colored all day. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. We'll put it in the box, we'll keep fishing. We got a little bit more time. Boy, there's a boat coming by. We don't want the boat seeing gorilla hole. <laughs> How about that? Now, guys, we've been throwing that dark colored frog all day. Dark colored frogs typically work best on cloudy days. But I just tied that white one on. I just tied the white one on. Haven't even been five uh, minutes. Uh, Woo. Guys, that's what it is right there. That's my white popping frog. And these are available at all the stores now, so you gotta check them out. Really, really good hooks, obviously. And it's just, uh, it's a molded, this is really cool. It's a molded front end right here, so that's all soft. And uh, it's just, I mean, it just, it's good. I've caught a lot of big fish on this thing. But again, we made a little adjustment. Been throwing the dark colored all day long. And after the storm, we just hadn't really seen anything really roll on our baits, but we've seen several fish blow up on bait fish. And that got me thinking, you know, if they're chasing shiners or chasing shad, the white might be the deal. Oh, that was, awesome. dude, that was one of the coolest bites. It didn't really even blow up on it. But when I set the hook on that fish, dude, it pulled me back hard. I know core. I saw all the hardcore pads yeah. laying over. Oh, that was awesome, dude. If you guys hadn't been uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel, be sure to check it out. It's the Scott Martin Challenge on YouTube, and uh, it's full of tons of cool things. You know, little little fishing trips like today, along with all the tournament footage that we're doing, all the FLW stuff, all the day by day stuff on on the FLW tour really packed full of some pretty cool stuff and a lot of fishing tips too so be sure to check out the scott martin challenge on youtube and, uh, and let me know what you think guys it's uh it's it's fun we really enjoy doing that well that's three big ones dude i mean that's probably 22 23 pounds i mean that one was pushing eight and the other ones are over seven for sure dude i hate to do it to you gary but we gotta go man i mean that's some bad stuff right there that's like lightning it is black it looks like a little tornado's popping out but I tell you what, dude, we came up short on putting the mega bag in the boat, but we actually had five giant fish bite. And we're I gonna think, show. I think we have more than that. You yeah. missing a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come back here, let's show everybody what we got. These are awesome, dude. Just like old times, <laughs> man. I mean, it's been years since I've been able to fish with you. We've been so busy doing our things. But man, awesome stuff, dude. Awesome stuff. This is yours over here. It's we we'll grab them all. Dude, look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Ho, ho! Okeechobee at its finest right there. The first one I missed this morning was bigger than all of these. It was like two yeah. of these. Yes, together. it was. It was. That was awesome, dude. How about that, guys? Frog fishing at its best. We said we were going to catch some big ones on top water. We got and it we done. Did. And if we, we could have done. more time Here, open today, that box up. I think we'd have got some more. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We're going to get a couple good pictures here. Let these fish go. But guys, how awesome was that? I tell you what, dude, we have to do it again, man. Me too. We have to do it again. What we need to do is we need to fish with the team tournament, show them, what, show them what's up. We need to do it. Just like old times. Just call me. You know I'll fish with oh, you. Man, guys, hope you enjoyed watching today's show. Stay tuned next week. We're going to be on a new lake with a new challenge of some sort. Thanks for watching Scott Moore Challenge. We'll see you. Boom!